Acromegaly is a medical disorder that is similar physiologically to gigantism, although the manifest symptoms are quite different. Acromegaly is a disorder in which the bones of the hands, feet, and face grow beyond their normal size and shape in response to severe hormonal imbalances, especially regarding growth hormone. Individuals that choose to abuse HGH for an extended period of time are at a high risk of developing symptoms of acromegaly. Gigantism can only occur until the end of puberty because structures known as epiphyseal plates cap the bones at the end of puberty, preventing a young person from growing any taller. After the epiphyseal plates close, the bones can still grow in overall shape, they just cannot grow longer. In adults who choose to engage in severe growth hormone abuse for an extended period of time, HGH overdose can actually warp the size and shape of the hands and feet and face. The face tends to grow more squared and the bones of the cheeks, jaw, and forehead begin to grow outward, making a person take on characteristics which are commonly referred to as Neanderthal-like. In cases of mild to moderate acromegaly, the symptoms can sometimes be reversed, especially if physiological changes are not severe. Even for patients with moderate to severe acromegaly, the symptoms can be mitigated even if they are not completely eradicated. Acromegaly is one of the most severe symptoms of adult growth hormone abuse because acromegaly has a severe impact on long-term mortality, especially if left untreated. Although legitimate human growth hormone replacement therapy can streamline and improve metabolic health, the abuse of HGH injections can actually hinder the body's ability to properly process sugars and other energy sources. This is because both insulin and human growth hormone play component parts in the maintenance of proper metabolism and energy production. Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas which regulates the breakdown and composition of glucose in the bloodstream. In the case of diabetes, the body begins to develop a resistance to the insulin hormone, which then prevents the body from properly breaking down glucose in the bloodstream, causing a number of significant medical issues which increase overall mortality risk. Human growth hormone affects metabolism because soon after HGH is released by the pituitary gland or injected into the body, it cycles directly to the liver where growth hormone is converted into a hormone known as insulin-like growth factor 1. IGF-1 is responsible for a process known as lipid metabolism, whereas insulin is responsible for glucose metabolism. The IGF-1 molecule binds to adipose fat deposits throughout the body, releasing stores of fat in order to increase metabolism and available energy within the body. Long-term human growth hormone abuse can lead to symptoms of type 2 diabetes because HGH overdose can stimulate a condition known as hyperglycemia, otherwise known as high blood sugar. Taking too much HGH can cause hyperglycemia because the breakdown of adipose fat deposits directly lead to an increase in available blood sugar, which causes the body to increase insulin production. If the pancreas is overstimulated for too long, the pancreatic cells begin to become overworked and the organ may slow down the production of insulin, causing symptoms of diabetes to occur. These symptoms are not associated with the healthy use of HGH hormone replacement therapy for growth hormone deficiency and are generally only associated with the abuse of the hormone for physical gain. Although these symptoms may be a strong cause for concern, these symptoms only generally occur when individuals abuse human growth hormone injections over an extended period of time. In addition to this, patients who tend to experience these symptoms also tend to take a much higher dose of the hormone than is generally recommended for therapeutic use. The normal dose of HGH hormone therapy is about one to two units per day, whereas patients that choose to abuse growth hormone for physical gain tend to take far more than that. If you are over the age of 30 and are thinking about the use of human growth hormone as a treatment for HGH deficiency, we understand your concern. Although the potential side effects of HGH abuse can be rather severe in some cases, the ultimate goal of bioidentical human growth hormone replacement therapy is not to purposefully provide you with more growth hormone than your body needs. Growth hormone HRT works by restoring your body's natural hormonal balance by restoring your internal HGH levels to a value which is similar to that which you experienced when you were in the prime of your life. 
By restoring flagging hormone levels, it is possible to slow down or even prevent some of the negative aspects of the aging process. It is important to engage in physician-mediated HGH injection therapy rather than attempting to self-treat and self-diagnose, not only because of the legal issues surrounding non-prescription growth hormone shots, but because it is important to work with a trained medical professional in order to maximize the benefits and minimize the potential costs of growth hormone HRT. By engaging in a proactive form of HGH treatment with the help of a physician, you can not only closely monitor your internal hormone balance, but you can also talk to your doctor immediately in the case of any in the case any minor side effects do occur. By remaining vigilant and using HGH therapy intelligently, it is possible to eliminate the majority of the risk associated with human growth hormone supplementation. Individuals who are actively suffering from cancer should avoid the use of HGH. Growth hormone provides its immense potential benefits largely through increasing the rate at which healthy cell division takes place, while also stimulating general metabolism. Although for most patients this is a very good thing, for patients that are suffering from cancer, there is cause for concern that HGH therapy, and especially growth hormone abuse, may lead to the further propagation of cancer cells. The evidence regarding this is not definitive, but the causal link is strong enough for where both patients and physicians should act with caution in order to ensure the health of the patient. The correlation between HGH shots and cancer growth is most highly correlated with cancers of the reproductive system, such as prostate and ovarian cancer. HGH speeds up the rate that cell regeneration occurs, which is the reason that the therapy is so beneficial to aging men and women. Human growth hormone replacement therapy is meant to increase quality of life and improve long-term health outcomes by stimulating youthful physiological HGH levels. Patients with a strong history of cancer within their family should be incredibly cautious about the use of HGH hormone injection therapy treatments. To this date, there is little to no evidence that correlates human growth hormone treatments with the development of cancer, but patients that have an incredibly high risk of cancer will often wish to forego treatment because of the negative health outcomes potentially associated with HGH and cancer. Be very open with your health and wellness physician about your family history regarding any health issues that you may be prone to as a result of your heritage so that you can help your anti-aging physician ensure that you receive the best treatment options available to you. If you do decide to use HGH replacement therapy even though you have a family history of cancer, it is important to remain incredibly vigilant about your overall health and maintain awareness over any changes, positive or negative, which take place in your body. Visit your general physician regularly and if you suffer from any abnormal negative symptoms, be sure to speak to a doctor as soon as possible. One benefit to doctor-monitored growth hormone HRT is that patients that are more in tune with their bodies are more prone to taking preventative measures to prevent cancer and other negative health conditions. In addition to this, patients who utilize these therapies tend to have a closer and more open relationship with their doctor, which can help patients recognize any major health complications early. When treatment options are most effective, whether the issue has anything to do with their decision to undergo HGH replacement treatments. Stay tuned for part three of this video series discussing HGH abuse and its side effects.